Mark? It has been a minute since we've done these movies. These little boys are now these big kids. And we went through some craziness. <laughs> <laughs> We've made the original Insidious film 13 years ago. <laughs> and one of the things that resonated with audiences about the Lambert family is it starts in such a very real place. This couple moving into this new house with this young family. There was something really grounding about the family and relatable. And yeah. that initial film really struck a chord in a yeah. way, yeah. It did. Yeah. You guys probably remember how scared I was. <gasps> I had this very early memory of the first day of set, I think, and then like looking up and just seeing Joe Bashira's eyes, like looking at me and just being like, oh, no. <laughs> just getting terrified as soon as they called action. Oh, my God. oh those tears were real. Those oh, yeah. tears in the lair were real, yeah. for sure. But it opened up a love for that genre. The most fun for me is cutting to nine years later in the events that Dalton goes through into school to connect and kind of have the Lambert trilogy. I, I think these things I'm drawing, the door, a guy with a hammer. I think they could be clues from my past. As a kid, he would draw his dreams and his travels, and that was his outlet. And now he's in this art school that awakens that outlet. With each number, I want you to sink further and further into yourself. It brings back that family drama and all the paranormal stuff. I think it's creepier because it goes more into the subconscious yeah. and all that stuff I've always loved. Yeah, yeah. It's the further. I love that stuff. Close the door! Close the door! that I feel like almost every young person goes through at one point or another, just kind of resentment for your family and for your parents and dealing with that. I, I heard what mom said at the funeral. Are you kidding me? Stop lying to me! Felt super passionate about their father-son relationship with this multi-generational trauma and how they can fix their relationship as best as they can when they're at opposite sides. able to have Dalton face his demons while I, in a way, I was also doing it for myself. Felt very natural, because you've played my dad in four movies yeah. now, I think, and, yeah. and like I've known you since I was three, and having the history with our family in the movie. Yeah. It's 13 years since the first one. It's really cool. I'm very proud of it. So I am so thankful that audiences had such a love for this franchise. Hey, bud, it's me. I don't know what's going on with me, but um, I'm gonna find out. Cut. Great. That's a cut. That was awesome. Thank you. I did not think I'd be playing the role three times and certainly not directing the fifth installment. He's not the parent, you are. I mean, if you don't want to, then that's a different story. I, no, I but can't. It's so special to be back for this next chapter of the movie. It's a crazy thing for Insidious. It's like a full circle moment. I remember after I was possessed. And when they hypnotize us. Are you ready? We're ready. Ready to forget once and for all. I thought, oh, I hope I get to come back head of film over at Blumhouse I said, what about Patrick directing? I guess I was just hoping for something real. <laughs> and I think the story goes, they were like, God, why didn't we think of that? Hey. Can we talk? This new chapter is extraordinary. <laughs> he's a very good communicator about what he's looking for me and what he's expecting from me. What's happening to Renee is real. I've known those guys at Blumhouse. This is our fourth film together. So they know how to do these movies. First of all, horror movies, but certainly Insidious movies, better than anybody else. 
I sat and thought about the story that I wanted to tell, even though I was first-time director. Dalton, I know that you've got to find a story that you're passionate about because it's going to live with you until the movie's done. See you next Friday. I tell Foster to pack his history homework. I'll help him with it. We come a little earlier if you want. Join us for dinner. Yeah, I'd like that. Thanks. So I came up with a few ideas where I would like to take the characters. I wanted as many of the original cast back as I could. Patrick came to me with this idea and he was like, would you be willing to come back? Of course, this would be incredible. Hey man, welcome to GPU. When they first presented the idea to direct, there were so many things and so many themes that I felt like I could really dig into. The further you travel, the riskier the journey becomes. You know, I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. I just haven't been able to manage the time for uh, you and your brother and sister. Patrick's conversations that he and I had was really just about who Dalton was now and how he got there. Digging into that father-son relationship was something really important to me. You gotta show me that he can hear me. If there's a big chunk of your childhood missing because of this coma that you've been told that you're in your whole life, what would that do to a person? That people don't miss anything. We meet Dalton and you immediately get the sense of his trouble and the weight on his shoulders. It's a complicated dynamic, the father-son dynamic. All I ever wanted was to be better than my father. I wanted to introduce memory of Josh's father, someone we never talked about. I was very careful to address and undo the end of Insidious 2, really unpack that. But I'm so respectful to the series and to James that I wanted to, this to be a continuation of that story and not just change things for the sake of change. With every time that I would add in a new level, I had to go back to the other movies and make sure I wasn't redoing any of our journey throughout the other movies. I always wanted it to line up. Patrick really explores going into the further, which was one of the most fun and strange and exhilarating parts of the film. <laughs> There's a certain amount of, of strangeness and weirdness in Insidious films that I, that I love, that, I, that, that you can't do in a lot of movies. Patrick's intention was to make a film that the fans would appreciate and all of the iconic moments. Close the door! I think that's what Insidious fans like. I think it's equally scary as it is melodramatic and gives you a lot of opportunities as an actor to really chew on some really strange stuff. And as a director, then you've got a real field day of how you want to shoot things conceptually. Like, what if they did this and then it had an effect in the real world? As long as you start from a very real place, nothing's really off limits, as long as you can get the audience from the beginning.